Hello, my name is Bobby Bray from St. Mary's 5th grade, and I would like to tell you about my science fair project about popcorn. My question is, how, which microwave popcorn brand Act 2, Jolly Time, or Redenbacher, or Pop Seeker will have the least amount of unpopped kernels? My hypothesis is that Pop Seeker will have the least amount of unpopped kernels. My materials, one large bowl, one pencil, two pieces of paper, three bags each of them. Add two movie theater butter popcorn, Jolly Time Blast of Butter Ultimate Theater Style Popcorn, Orville Redenbacher's Movie Theater Butter Microwave Popcorn, and, and Pop Secret Movie Theater Style Microwave Popcorn. One microwave, one trifold, one printer, and one computer. My variables are the controlled variables are the microwave and the cook time. The dependent variable is the number of popcorn kernels that do not pop. The independent variable is the brand of popcorn. Method. Gather a large bowl, paper, pencil, and popcorn bags. Remove bag from plastic wrapper. Place up Place bag with the side up facing up in microwave. Microwave popcorn for four minutes. Let popcorn sit for two and a half minutes to cool. Open microwave and take out bag of popcorn. Count the number of unpopped popcorn kernels and record. Repeat steps for each brand and three trials total. My results. The original purpose of this experiment was to see which brand has the least number of unpopped popcorn kernels. Pop Secret has the least had the least amount of unpopped kernels, followed by Act Two, Jolly Time, and and finally Orville Redenbacher. Pop Secret consistently had the number of unpopped had the least um, number of unpopped kernels each trial. That. The table shows a comparison between each trial for each brand in the total number of unpopped kernels for each brand. Conclusions. My hypothesis was correct. Pop Seeker had the least number of unpopped popcorn kernels. Pop Seeker consistently had lower numbers of unpopped kernels at 2 on the second trial, but for trial 3, the but trial three had the most number of unpopped popcorn kernels. I noticed the number of unpopped popcorn kernels increased for each trial. It was important to control the time and cooking power each bag had. But I suspect the microwave wasn't as sufficient after multiple trials. If I were to conduct this experiment again, I would like to test more brands and I would only do one bag at a time and allow the microwave an hour to rest after each trial to ensure microwave the microwave is at its maximal efficiency. Thank you for your time.